Today, we're gonna check off the last two big things from the project list. We've got our flexible solar panels that we're gonna install. If you don't remember, we had one blow off in a storm, and this happened. No, no, really show them what okay. happened. Okay. That's what happened. So now we've decided to replace all six because in the end, we'd have to remove them all, recalk them, rebed them and we thought if those two were on the edge then we might as well just replace them all. It's kind of like a battery. You can replace one but it's better to replace them all at the same time. Good news is the three panels that were still in good shape we had picked up by a local cruiser and he's super stoked to have 300 extra watts of solar. So now we're gonna work on these. Nikki removed them the other day and now she's scrubbing the caulk to clear it up. Uh, we're also gonna have a friend come, Vaughn. He's an electrician here in New Zealand, you kind of are supposed to have professionals help you wire stuff, which is probably a good rule to have. So he's gonna come and help us do the connections. So that's cool. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, hopefully if there's enough time today, finish up the AC install. I've been working on it for the past week. It was supposed to be just drop in, but of course, typical boat live. It didn't quite fit perfectly, so I've had to make some adjustments and go to the store two or three times to buy miscellaneous parts. So that's how it goes. So now, Enough babbling, let's get to work. Oh, I should also tell you that we had to move marinas. This is actually a sister marina that's attached to the marina we were in. So we came from Gulf Harbor, and now we're at Fairway Bay, I believe it's called. There was two mega yachts coming in, and they were like, well, you have a really big spot. Would you mind moving? <laughs> so that's also why we're in a different location. Cock. Oh baby, it's is uh, feels risky. I don't know why. <laughs> Once they're down, that's it. That's it. They're so shiny. Yeah, they are. Mm. It is a new top coating versus what we had. This is like version 2.0, and apparently they're coming out with version 3.0 like in a month. And I was like, God, can't you just come out with it like a month earlier? <laughs> But it's supposed to be even more durable, yeah. last even longer, right? Exactly. That's the deal. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to use more caulk. So on the old ones, they just did one around, and I'm going to do one around and a Zorro in the middle. That was a lot more um, zigzags than a Zorro. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> or although he does it backwards. Probably only a drop in this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so one tube per panel. Okay, half today, other half money on us. I budgeted for half a tube each. Oy. Maybe I should tell you that I'm using the Fix Tech. 15 I think is what it is and I did not tell you that these are go power flexible 100 watt panels just so you know what we're installing here well I think this is the last of it for today. We're gonna, <laughs> also because we're out of caulk. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna get some more caulk tomorrow. We'll do the other three panels and then we'll let that all cure. And this time we're going to do a final bead. Tape it back off and just seal all the edges because we also think part of the problem was water eventually got underneath and I think it was just a combination of constant like water dirt and everything else and then getting under there sitting solar panels get hot so you got heat you got water I'm sure it just ate away at all of that under there 
Plus, it has been almost six years now, so it's been at least five and a half. And if you think about that, all the elements and everything else, that's probably legitimately about the time that you would need to rebed these anyway. If we have to redo our windows every like five to eight years, then we probably need to do these every five to eight years. And had we noticed it was coming up, we probably could have salvaged the panels. <laughs> well, definitely could have <laughs> instead of them getting smashed to bits. Live and learn, live and learn. Sounds like you're uh, getting stopped up. Yes, I'm a little allergy <laughs> today. As is most days. Surgery soon. That's right, we haven't told anybody about that. No. We've been going to lots of doctor's appointments because unfortunately we've been in Tonga and in Fiji and everywhere else for the past two years. So we're playing catch up on everything. One of them being finally taking care of my allergy problems. So yes, I am going to have sinus surgery in about a month. I will not be filming that. Cause no, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only tool on the boat that does not rust. There it is, the digital plunger that unblocks the internet and today's sponsor. Because as we travel around from country to country, we run into all sorts of crappy blocks like this. You've probably heard us talk about Surfshark before, but just in case you're new, it's not actually a plunger. That was a joke, but it is 100% rust free because it's an app and web browser extension that lets us change our IP address to virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world to unblock websites and content that we couldn't access otherwise. So we can avoid these stinking geo restrictions on sites like Amazon, apps like Venmo, and even get around YouTube live streaming blocks in certain countries. Ecuador is blocking YouTube live chat. Plus Surfshark encrypts our online data and serves as our ad blocker. So we can surf in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. It's our favorite tool. And right now, if you use our discount code WINS, you get 83% off plus three extra months for free. And if you're not sure if it's the right tool for you, no worries. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to try it out. I will leave a link in the description below. Welcome back to day two of the solar install. Remember the tech I told you about, Vaughn? Well, he's coming today because, well, there's one cable I couldn't get through this tiny hole. I'm assuming he has a trick. And then we're gonna connect all these wires and button all this up and then he'll leave and Nikki and I will finish the caulk job. <laughs> and saw on the other three panels. That's it. That's all we're gonna do today. No big deal. <laughs> Probably gonna take all day. Good morning. Oh yeah, how's it going, Nikki? Right. <laughs> Good. This okay. is Vaughn. Tell us about your uh, one hour project yesterday. Oh, the one hour that turned into three hours. <laughs> yeah. Turned into six hours. But... Fitting a VHF, yeah, just a head unit, just putting it in. Everything else is good. <laughs> <laughs> new holes, new antenna, new system, new routing. It's like, wow, poor boat. <laughs> it's working now, but yeah. It makes me feel better that a one hour job also turns into a three hour job for you. Yeah. It's standard issue. Yeah. Standard yeah. issue. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on, Mark. I think you washed the boat yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell it's cleaner than last yeah. time? Try and keep it clean this time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All good. Slip and grease. Lube. Oh, the things are. You gotta lube it. <laughs> yep. And you gotta have strong tape. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fresh tape. Must be quite a tight hole down there. Yeah, it was tight just to even pull it out. It's always the last one, eh? Of course. <laughs> ah. Just like that. Man. So what was the trick? One cable attached to the other cable with just a little bit of distance and grease. Because basically the one cable was coming through and then the other was getting stuck on that cable, like bound up. It was my idea. <laughs> and uh, I was swearing a lot. That helps. Swearing. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Oh, that sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that kind of potion. Just my kind of heat, keep it on repeat. Testing by the potion, loving this the potion. Okay, the tarp's on. Okay, she's hooked up. There's still an entire panel shaded, so let me move the boom. 
How many amps is it putting in? It's just 5.6. that sound right? Uh, yep. We're doing less than enough. Yeah, I was thinking, well, it's putting in more than five, but it's at 50 volts. Yeah. So that makes sense. The, the MPPT controller converts it down to 12 volts, so then it becomes 20 amps or something, which he's about to tell us. Yeah, if I start smoking, just pull me out. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put on gloves and then pull you out. No, no, don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> 24.9 amps. There we go. So that's 25 amps. Off that controller Off from those three controller. panels. Three panels, yeah. Those other panels yeah. are doing the ice thing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's working. Cool. So are we all done? Yep, we're finished. Thanks. Just to tidy up and... Yeah. I'm going to do the tidy up. Yeah. Put it away. We do the grunt work. Yeah. We're sure customers are like that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right. That would be perfect. Get your stuff and go. Yeah. Come with as quick as possible. Yep. Done. Next. Very Thanks, cool. Vaughn. Very yeah, much. Thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate yeah. that. All good. Back to help. Yeah. Back to help. And he said that our cock job was good. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good for New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 New Zealand will be funny. Yeah. You said what? Yeah. what? Yeah. This is it. The very last of the solar panel job. And we are going to, because we forgot to film that yesterday, rough up the back side of the panels with a little bit of sandpaper and we use a little isopropyl alcohol to give it all a wipe down before we put on the silicone because you know prep is important. Every time every night you and I count a roll. It's your favorite part. Cock time. Get oh, it done. On. I feel like you could do that better. Cock time! Let's do it! <laughs> Let's do it with the cock! Right, so are we still going? No. Oh, it's over? Yes. I'm finished? Do I need a cigarette? That's what she said. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Cock time. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up where I'm going. Stay on the fly just in time, know the right way to go. I'm on the road, it's my time. Taking control of my... Here goes Mike. Bye, guys. Up on. That was Mike, the super yacht captain that helped us with the main sail. All the sails, actually. He's headed off for the weekend for some fun. Yeah, he's going to go play, catch some fish, and he said if he catches something good, he's going to invite us over for dinner. Yeah. So good luck, Mike. <laughs> I want to run the red lights. I've got to run this show. You always take me so high. You always make the highlights. I love the way we vibe up. You're like a Santa So crazy. There's like this extra little bit of the marina that's just behind that, so they just have a bow thruster on that little portion of the dock so it opens up and people can get out. Morning! Hi, morning. <laughs> so that's cool. It's the first time we've gotten to see that. Kind of neat. Okay, for us this morning, we are going to raise the mainsail and put in the last batten the mainsail is bigger than our old one our existing batten was too short so we had to get a longer one but to put that in we've got one last car to load on and then i think that's it for the, the whole sales. sales thing and then we're done with that check okay well not yet we're gonna get on Good. Now we gotta cut it. We cut it a little bit long, and then as we use it, the sail will tighten up or loosen up. We left the others a hair long for that exact same reason. Okay. Because it will change over time. Yeah. I won't have to find another $400 bat. Yeah. done as a wrap let's go sailing let's actually put it up and go somewhere instead of just put it up and work on it
one more project officially complete. Check, feels good. All right, so sails are done. Solar panels are complete. Now we just need the air conditioner. What was that? <laughs> so I wish it was a hair longer. It's <laughs> so wasteful. <laughs> So the AC is pretty much done. The other day I finished installing the seawater pump and we did the electrical connections. And I didn't shoot a lot of that because mostly it was just me like this. It was kind of like this. And then there was some of this. And then there was definitely a lot of cussing because it was really hard to slide these stupid hoses on. Can you see those hoses? That took me like Are you four hours. About your hoses? It's too short and this hose is too hard. Okay, now back to it, jeez. I'm putting the final touches on the ducting here. And? Yes, this is a Webasto FCF Platinum 16,000 BTU. That's what we've installed here. And yes, it's an AC, which is great because it'll keep us cool in the tropics, but it also has some other features. One being a dehumidification setting, which will help lower the humidity. It turns on and off automatically. It's supposed to save energy versus the air conditioning mode. That's pretty cool. You always want to keep the humidity down in a boat. And of course, here in New Zealand, probably Nikki's favorite feature of all it has a heat pump so we can run heat now in this boat and if you remember when we landed here it was literally freezing Woo, it is 42 degrees this morning oh that is freaking cold so i think the heat setting is going to be used a lot because summer is almost gone and winter is approaching fast and I would say the best feature for this AC unit is it has a built-in micro air, easy start, soft start, which I've done a video that explains exactly what that is, talks about why you would want one, why we needed one, why we installed it in our boat, but basically it lets us run our air conditioner off of our battery, inverter, and solar. So we can have off-grid air conditioning and that is pretty sweet. Well, and in this case, not just off-grid air Well, and off-grid heating, heating too. Heating and dehumidification. There you go, Nikki's talking about the heater again. <laughs> yeah, it also has a fan so we can blow air throughout the entire boat, which is good to help circulate air because the fans don't reach everywhere. Okay. We're prepared for all seasons, all it, environments exactly. now. Exactly. So this is basically like our Swiss Army knife of luxury. Yeah. <laughs> New title idea? Yeah, I like <laughs> this unit is slightly more compact. It's way quieter than our old cruise air units. And according to the specs, it's supposed to be more efficient so we can, in theory, run it longer off of our batteries and inverter than we could our old units. Yeah. And I see Nikki going, ah, Well, ah, I'm ah. like, in all fairness, those cruise air units were over 10 years old. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. They were groaning like and <laughs> yeah, they were at the end of their life. Sounds like me in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. So this is our air con. And in true boat fashion, nothing's done until it's been done twice or three times. Don't be fooled by the installation instructions that are on this little remote. It says up can be vertical or horizontal. Well, that's obviously not the case. So mine's kind of sideways, but I'm not gonna deal with that right now. I'm actually emailing the company. I'm like, can't you please just make a vertical app so then I can like update the software back here? Anyway, I digress. This is also a micro air product and it is a digital display, obviously. It's definitely more user friendly than the multi-button analog version. Plus I can go in here and change, whoop, whoop. See, outside, it's got more stuff than I know what to do with it because I haven't really read the manual. Anyway, I think it's a cool feature. Should I turn it on? Um, we don't really need well, yeah. AC or, or heating heat right, right now. now. <laughs> you can turn on the dehumidifier if you want. <laughs> uh, well, that's it, guys. This is literally the last thing we were gonna do while we're here at the marina, so now we can officially leave, head out, test those sails, get some adventuring in before the summer is completely gone. So thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm. You mean you're not gonna fix those before we leave? Fix what? <laughs> Don't you gonna properly install those um, horizontal instead of vertical? No, they're gonna write a program. <laughs> they, oh. they better write a program <laughs> or else. <laughs> they're, they're saying vertical, is that what you're saying? They're gonna say, I can see it perfectly here. It's 60, 76 degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. <laughs> Time to change the bandage. You wanna tell people about what you did? The downside of filming is you end up 
rushing sometimes and we were sort of at the end of all the projects we were trying to do the last little bit of caulking on the solar the sun was going down we had a dinner date a dinner date so we we're like oh we gotta hurry we were running out of blue tape so what i decided to do was take the one roll of fat blue tape and cut it with a blade right down the middle to hopefully give us enough tape in the end pointless because we ran out of tape anyway and i had to go to the damn store to get more tape anyway that's how i yeah. cut my finger I yep, basically you were just yeah, show us. sliced it off almost. This has been three or so days. It's wet because we were washing the boat earlier, so it probably looks. Can you see that? 